Well, I set up and I did something called blind calling. That's when I don't hear an elk, see an elk, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna see if there's an elk that maybe hears my call and decides to come in. It's late in the season, so normally you can get a response. But when I start calling, I do hear a bull way off. But I thought, mm, that one probably won't come in, but maybe there's something in between us. I do a couple more whiny cow calls. I'm sitting there against the cottonwood, and I hear one twig snap. Well, there's only a few things in the woods big enough to snap a twig. I decided there had to be an elk sneaking in. I had a little opening in front of me, and I knew that if an elk came into it before I was at full draw, there was no way I was gonna get drawn. So what do I do? Just like with the bear the night before, I decide I'm gonna draw early. So I come to full draw before I even see the elk. I'm at full draw hoping this elk is gonna step into the meadow. Now, I don't know if it's a bull, I don't know if it's a cow, but I am pointed out toward the meadow and I'm thinking, I don't care if it's a cow or a bull. If it's a legal elk, I'm gonna try and take it. The elk finally comes out, it is a bull. He steps out, sees a Montana decoy, and starts walking right at me. Now that's bad, because I don't wanna take a straight on shot. So the problem with using a Montana decoy is now, especially where I have it, the bull's looking at it. I should have had the decoy off to the side, I've done that before and it seems to work better for me, but this bull is now focused on the decoy. He's only 15 yards from me, and I'm like, I need a shot at this bull. Now the problem with being at full draw early is that you start to get tired, at least I do. I'm starting to get a little shaky. I can't hold this bow much longer. Finally, the bull turns and starts to go. When he turns, he gives me a broadside shot, and I'm shaky, but I let it go. Got him. Hard. He's not a monster bull, but he's my bull. He just kept, I, I wouldn't shoot for the longest time. I kept waiting for him to turn, waiting for him to turn. And I, man, my 20 yard pin was, and finally that true glow was going like this. They're not supposed to do that. And when, it, when your bow starts doing that, it's not good. I've shot a lot of elk, but that adrenaline never stopped. Like I said, I know that shot was a little high, fortunately. I got good penetration. I'm shooting now, it's spreading out. I've got the muzzy on there. So I've got both a cutting and an open on one side. My arrow's right there, it just blew right through him. And I could see blood as soon as he turned. That's where he spun out, right there. And check out how real that looks. <laughs> a one eared cow. You can see. I had the perfect setup. I'll show you where I was. You gotta see it from the bull's angle. Hold on. So it's relatively open country here, but I was right here and I drew before the bull even came out. That was paramount and I, and I waited till he came out to draw. It would have never worked, but I was risking it. I drew and I almost, I almost paid for it because that bull came out, looked up and was like, well, hello, and he kept coming. Woo, woo. And the meanwhile, I'm going like this. Now, some people, you can take a frontal, especially on a close shot on a bull, but there's no way I could have because I was doing this. But I think I held the bow. I'm telling you, it was 30 minutes. We're gonna have to time it. We're gonna have to go. Could, how long do you think I held for? What's your opinion? 
a minute, 30. All right, Jake may be right. Jake may be right. He says a minute, 30, and he was running camera. So he may be right. And the arrow hit the ball a little far back and high, but it looked really good. I saw blood instantly. He made a quick charge out this way and looked back, and I think I heard him go down, like right here. So we're gonna give it just a little bit. We're gonna go in there. Check out the ball. Oh, that was awesome. As soon as I started following the blood trail, it was awesome. Good blood, you're looking at it, it's bubbly. I'm like, oh yeah, we got this bull in the lungs. Pretty confident he's not gonna be up here very far. Oh, that's a good sign. Dude, look at that right through there. That is a dead bull that died on a run. Look at that. Look at that. Talk about a big body. I got the back of the lung there, even though I was a little high. He's got blood coming out of his mouth. Just a beautiful bull. Is he gonna make any record books? Yep, he's gonna make mine. And that is awesome. This guy fell prey to love between my girlfriend here, my uh, Montana decoy, and uh, Little cow calling, he uh, he couldn't take it. I had my release on just in case, but I felt pretty confident when I shot and the blood that I saw instantly that this bull was down. And like I say, this is the exit. He actually came in like this and looked all manly coming in like that and staring at me and staring at me. I'm pretty jacked. He uh, He made it in here probably about 150 yards it's because i shot just a tad high a little back on the other side came out here in this lung you can see by the blood coming out of his mouth but that eastern axis blew right through him and uh pretty pretty pumped about that deal man doesn't matter how many elk you shoot you get an animal that big and he's 13 to 15 yards from you and he's looking for love <laughs> it can be scary <laughs> and exciting it was pretty awesome but uh i've got some work to do now I'm going to quarter this bad boy out and uh, pack him out of here. But just a beautiful elk. And, you know, that's, that's I, I, I couldn't be more excited with him. It's absolutely awesome.